Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Silhouette Sunday video. In this video, we're going to be talking about one of the new features in the newest version of Silhouette Studio that is currently in beta. And I know a lot of people are super hesitant to upgrade to newer versions of Silhouette Studio because they have a lot of problems when they upgrade. But this is a feature that I think some of you are really going to find useful and potentially worth rolling the dice and upgrading um, early to Silhouette Studio 4.1. And that is, we now have glyphs built in to Silhouette Studio. We don't have to go through a third party app to get the fancy swirls like we typically have to do in designs. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I'm referring to. You can see on my screen, I actually do have an upgraded version of Silhouette Studio 4.1, and I'm not going to go through all of the different features in this video, but I will quickly point out some of the new buttons that are here. If you look on the left, there's now an option to add a post-it note where you can type out different information about your project, measurements or fonts you're using, just really a place for you to make a digital sticky note. And you'll see a new icon on the right here that allows you to make pop-up cards using any shape in your library, which I have not played with yet, but that is new in this version of Silhouette Studio, this 4.1 release. But what I was most excited about is this new glyph option. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my text tool and type on my mat just the word hello. And the font that is here is called stacked and you can see it here in the top left hand corner. But if I select the textile panel here on the right, you'll see I now have three options here. The first one is the traditional textile menu. The second is the glyph panel and the third is spell check. Now here you can see it looks like just a regular font, but I know that this particular stacked font is encoded with some additional options that you can't get to just by typing. You have to either cut and paste them or find the specialized version of the font. And you can see these stacked options here. So for example, I know that there is a special HE that I could change this out to um, on the hello. So if I click here and I delete this H and this E out, I can select from this glyph panel this version of the H and the E that's been coded in as a special glyph font. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and just fill it in with a color so it's easier to see. And it was that simple. You just have to go into this new glyph feature here. So this is a new feature that I personally am excited about in Silhouette Studio. There's no more going to font book or um, a third party program to find these special swirls and stuff that have been encoded into the software. So I just thought I would share that with you. Um, if you guys have any comments or questions, you can leave them for me in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.